I'm Elizabeth Talbot and this is Matthew Talbot and we're with the Talbot Law Group in Walnut Creek, California and we are a trust and estate firm who specializes in trust litigation. So one thing I wanted Matthew to share with everyone today is uh, the process of a trust litigation and what it kind of looks like. Um, because I think most people think you end up directly going to a trial and that's actually not um, the case most often. Yes, yeah, so these processes can take some time. I'll give you an example of, let's say, a case where you think your brother, who's managing the trust, her mom, may have misappropriated or stolen money, and your goal is to perhaps get an accounting, get your brother removed as trustee for a neutral professional trustee, and have uh, <clears throat> money returned to the trust. So the first thing that would be done generally is provide a letter to your brother or their attorney outlining what it is that you want, and maybe you can work together to resolve the issues. In most of these circumstances, however, that is not the case. In most of these circumstances, you have to go to court, and you would go to court to file a petition to remove the person as trustee, to seek an accounting of their management of the assets, and to have them return funds to the trust. So you put a petition together, you file it with the court, and that's usually set out a couple months. That's just the first hearing. It's not a trial. It's just a status hearing to tell the judge where you are. The court often requires, relies on, and looks for the attorneys to do the heavy lifting. They need to ask the questions, find the evidence, and work to try to bring the parties together if possible. So if you were to file this first petition with the court asking for these various things, what would happen, what would you find would happen at that first court hearing? Well, the judge may just continue the matter to allow the parties to try to settle or mediate the case. And mediation is a process where the parties get a professional mediator to try to help them work out their differences. If they can't go to mediation or they think mediation is not going to work out, then the judge may be more likely to set the matter for trial. But this usually doesn't happen right away. It takes several hearings and and normally once you file a petition, often the other side will then file an objection to your petition as well. Is That's that correct? correct. And there may be counter petitions and so these, the pieces of paper just stack up and stack up and stack up. The vast, vast, vast majority of cases do settle, especially at mediation. And so the goal is to file the petition, get as much evidence as you can, and then go to mediation and see if you can work out a deal. Because the process of trial is expensive, time consuming, and it often has an unclear result. Thank you so much. Thank you.